This is the Windows 10 system which I used to demonstrate the make uh, file issue and now we're going to install the libraries here and uh, the hardware here so we can demonstrate the debug functionality. So we need to download zip. Okay. And for the hardware the same. Download zip. Okay. Now we open the containing folder. He's not doing that. Okay, so we unzip it here just for making it really easy to find things back. This is the libraries, and here we have the hardware. So we can close all of these. We don't need them anymore. Now we go to Arduino Eclipse IDE. We're opening a very brand new um, workspace. We need first of all need to configure the plugin. Now I noticed that he's warning here about make not being there, but it's there now. And if you open and close the you will, you will see it will be is there. Don't use 166 or later, it simply won't work. Any 165 will do. So make still not there, he thinks. But if you reopen, he'll see that make is there. So the libraries, we have downloaded them. So we go to the downloads. Uh, hard, the libraries, libraries, and then again, libraries. It's this one we need because that's just underneath the libraries and for the hardware we are also going to the downloads and now we need the hardware master the hardware master come on okay that's all there is to do for the configuration we're gonna close the welcome screen and we're gonna Create a new sketch and we're going to call this demo. Okay. Next, and we're going to use uh, the AVR local boards. Because this is a demo, we're going to use the UNO. Uh, the port's not important because we're doing local and debug anyway. So we're going for the debug version. We're going to take the sample program, uh, and that's the G test. Here it is. Definitely no audit. Should work on that on that one. And it's the blink. So finish. Now the demo, if you look at the sample program, there's a blink and there's a G-test. So the G-test is actually your unit coding, which we're not using right now. Uh, you can see that because it's all blanked out. See, this is all commented out, so that's not important right now. And here we get the... we had an error there because the index wasn't ready. But what we do is, we in the loop, we calculate the last state and we write it. So it's actually a blink without delay, uh, but it's not good code. Uh, so we compile the code. And you can see here in the console, 
then it's compiling okay now we're going to put the breakpoint here for instance in the last state and we're going to right click here say debug as we're going to go to debug configuration select C++ application black plus here we change I have to change this on my system I don't know whether everybody will have to change it but if I'm not using the legacy it's not working so okay uh, by the way Linux is a bit better because it's setting the values better I don't know why search project doesn't resolve to anything so we have to type here release slash demo.exe yeah and then we go to uh, arguments is okay environment is okay debugger we don't want to see green one because we are uh, use standard that works fine for me um, and that's it now we'll click apply we click debug now he asks us to go to the whether we're okay to switch to debugging mode the debugging uh, perspective so he put a, a breakpoint in the very first main the main first line in main which is Arduino code so if you go to continue you get here into a let state you see let state is zero um, if we do a step over here, so that state remains zero and we'll go from there. Yeah. Uh, so we just continue and we continue. We have to click 500 times here or put another breakpoint or just put a breakpoint here to make let's change change. It's 500 because the interval you can see here is 500 okay so we go here and now we see that the current midis is 500 and previous midis is zero so it's p or equal to interval <laughs> and so you can debug uh, that's it uh, because it's a uh, Arduino code which never stops you'll have to terminate it this way okay so we're going back to arduino now we have debugged locally what we want to do now is do g tests um so maybe i should why why can we do g tests because we have separated our decision code whether the latch should be on or off from the actual uh, code that does it so we can you, we can g test calculate that state provided values and check whether the value that comes out is correct so that's exactly what we're doing in the g test code so we're going to go here again to arduino we're going to add a new uh, configuration we're going to call it g test that's okay okay we're going to move here to G test and instead of debugging we'll go to unit testing here okay that's it and now we can uh, right click say build configurations build all and you should debug G test and debug both not the compile both Still on release, so did the uh, yeah. So we now actually build configuration. We're going to switch to. We're first going to, to so G test.cpp is blank. Why? Why? We because we're in the configuration of release. If we switch configuration to the G test, you'll see that after the index is done, he blanks this out. So we need some time now. The indexer is ready. 
uh, what you see here is uh, when I call calculate LED state with zero and high, I expect it to be high. If I call it again with zero and low, with zero low, and this is actually the tests which are being done. Yeah, uh, there is one for blink start, blink on, blink off. Um, so if we go here and we go to run as. You can use debug as as well, but it'll run as is a bit easier right now. Uh, we're actually going to build this on gtest, of course, and not on release. Oops, gtest, not release, gtest. So this should be, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, do you see change? No. We actually need to create a new one based on C++ unit test, which is basically based on gtest uh, and it's just so gtest slash demo dot exe yeah the arguments you don't have to change the arguments the C++ testing you have to set you that we're using Google test runner and in the environment where is it? Yeah, okay. The rest is okay. So you click again. You can probably immediately click run. But I have the habit of clicking apply and run. So here you have it. And he's giving you the test results. It's giving you green test results. It's run these tests, start on and off, and they're all fine. So just to make sure it's not a mock up, uh, I'll change this low to two which is back actually impossible value besides low is uh, zero so low is zero so that's thing now we're running the test again it asks you to save it run again and now you see that start failed and here you see that he's actually telling you He's expecting a, a 2 and you got a 0. So, that's how you can unit test and debug your code. Note that you can debug your code while you're in the unit test as well. So, just want to know what's going on here. You can put a breakpoint here. And uh, I think if you run, click it. No, it doesn't. Uh, you can do right click debug run configurations oh no you can't debug it this way if you create it as a debug configuration you can debug it then you have to create this as a debug configuration as well <laughs> yeah, so this is the this is one of the problems I have when I'm not using the uh, uh test configuration here when I'm not using the legacy here so as you can see now we are in gtest API and we're uh, going and now we're here at our test and we can check our test so that's it thank you